All right, welcome back to the Xeno Hive. Right now we have a special episode covering Sony's E3 2013 press conference. We have Evil or Omega, Master Guard 08, and a very sad debuted Xeno. <laughs> we'll and get to that in a minute. <laughs> this is me hosting Surprisingly Dolphin. All right, first, well, first we wait like 15, 20, 20 minutes late. 20. Yeah, about 20 minutes late. And then when they started and we saw the room, we realized why. It's a huge fucking room that they had to seat a lot of people in. The stable center, same place where Michael Jackson had his funeral. Yeah, we have in our notes Michael Jackson's ghost. <laughs> yeah, buy it. Buy a PlayStation. <laughs> Come on, I am. <laughs> I'm too depressed to do an impression right now. Also, a lot of people look high as fuck. That's in notes. <laughs> like <they're totally> <laughs> yeah. You made me put it in there. Yeah. And then we have a montage of games we saw at the reveal. That wasn't much of a surprise. Most were multi -plat. Yeah, there was Kill Zone, Infamous in there. This is pretty good. Drop Club, nobody gives a fuck about Drop Club. Yeah, I didn't even know about that one. I forgot completely about Forza that Forza all the way. Forza! Then they talk about Vita stuff. We see the God of War collections come to Vita. And also, I didn't know about this, Final Fantasy X and X-2 is coming to Vita. Yeah, you haven't heard about this? It's been no. like rumored since the Vita was announced. Wow. Well, I just heard about it. That's I think that's pretty interesting. That's cool. Yeah. Next, we have The Last of Us. I mean, it's already got pretty good review scores. I mean, I'll, it comes out Friday. I'll be doing a Let's Play of it starting uh, Friday, so. Next, we have The Puppeteer. Fuck that game. Yeah, I don't really remember much about this. A lot of these games, they had like, a it, montage. It was, they were really quick cuts between yeah, them. Yeah, it was like a sizzle reel. Yeah. Then next, we have a game called Rain. I like the concept. It looks interesting. Apparently, it's about a kid who dies, and you can only see his ghost or what? Yeah, in the it's rain. Sad. You can only see his ghost that in the rain. Boy. I can say it's original. I'm yeah, but is it like much. a murder mystery sort of thing, or is it just uh, you walk around? No idea, but it's, it's Japanese, so we yeah, don't pretty sure it's the PSN game. Yeah, you can say that. Next, we have Beyond Two Souls, which we saw premiere at last E3, and I'm a lot more excited for it now. It looks looks pretty good. See, the question is, though, having played Heavy Rain, which I really love, like, how much of that was actual gameplay and how much of it was a cinematic? That's a good point. I got that feel, too. That comes out later this year. D uh, October? October. October something. Here we have Gran Turismo 6. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> I don't yeah. Anybody, I don't think anybody cares about Forza. Anyway. Um, we don't like racing games. I mean... I, I'm in love with Forza, but that's it. Yeah. I never really played Gran Turismo. I heard it's super realistic. Hard as shit. Yeah, and that's fine. Sorry, I really know nothing about it. And they showed off Batman Arkham Origins footage I haven't seen before. I'm still really excited for it. I'm I'm on the fence. You know, yeah. next gen console is coming out. We'll probably won't have time to play it, and it's different developer, so I'll wait for reviews. Yep. And then they show off the console we've been waiting to see for four months now. It looks a lot like the Xbox One. It's a slanted it's a slant. Xbox One. I was really surprised, though. I mean, <laughs> it's, 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 like a, it looks kind of plain. I thought it'd be... Like, we're looking at a, the original PlayStation 3 right now, and it's pretty big. Bulky has the, the chrome, the silver, whatever you call it. Yeah, I didn't get a fancy chrome one. No, <laughs> no backwards combat in that one either. Yeah. But still, it looked pretty plain. It looked a lot like the Xbox One. And we have it here... Looked like you said it was a white light coming yeah, out. Yeah, it. it was either like a white light or, in the center of it. Either that or a really reflective metal. Yeah, and there was no fucking power going into it. If it was, if it was a metal, it'd go down the entire center. It yeah, just we get like it about it. not needing a power cable and just wireless power. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that was reflected light oh, coming so. off of there. Then, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Jack White. They mentioned Jack White. Now Jack Black. It's like Jack White. Yep, Jack, Jack White. White. Yep, Jack, Jack White. White. Jack and White. Then they do something. Can't believe they did. They wasted a single millisecond on TV. I mean, it wasn't that long. Four minutes. About four minutes. And they started talking about unlimited, whatever it's called, music. So they talked so, about a music so for a few minutes. Nothing but gaming box. Yeah, nothing but gaming, by gamers, for gamers, yada, yada, yada. But it also and does TV. TV and music, and yeah. yeah. It's like, oh, yeah, well, isn't yeah. that what the Xbox One is? Yeah, that was interesting, but we thought after... The backlash Microsoft got, they would completely avoid that. Yeah, and they, they didn't talk about it. It's yeah. a major part of the system. I, I expected it to be in the first place. Yeah. 
They they just said, well, here it is. Okay, let's watch the game. And then we get this Japanese guy. I can't, I can't remember his name. He Kai? talked funny. Kai, yeah, Kai kind of something. Heavy accent, but you know, he knew English. Yeah, pretty much. Then we saw a new game. Like, the first really surprising thing was the Order 1886. Dishonored. It really looked like Dishonored. Yeah. I out, out of like all Dishonored the games too. that premiere here today, there are new original IPs. Yeah. Definitely interested in that. Yeah, this looks really When I do really eventually good. get a PS4, I will pick that one up. Reminds me of Van Helsing. I remember I said that, because it looks a lot like it. Yeah. Then we saw a little more Killzone Shadowfall. Ooh, yeah. Look. <laughs> We saw some gameplay, though. Yeah, that was cool to it's, see. It's interesting. It's Killzone. They were starting to grapple. And then, Drop Club. <laughs> I don't think anybody here cares about Drop Club. That actually interests me because it focuses on the social aspect, which mm -hmm. I'm really intrigued by. I want to see more of it. And there's something they snuck in at the very end of the conference. Something about getting this game for free. Plus, it's PlayStation Plus, you get the PlayStation Plus edition oh, okay. for free. All right. Then the next off, they showed Infamous Second Son. Looks amazing. Can't wait to play this. I was, I was pretty impressed by what they showed. What'd y'all think of Infamous Second Son? It looks really cool. I've never played Infamous, so I don't know. It looks like Prototype. But... It looked different than um, Infamous 2. I agree with him, though. It looks like Infamous had a baby with Prototype, well, especially when he was wearing the hood. True. Those games always get compared, though. Ever since they first came out in like the same week of each other, yeah, those games constantly get compared, and I can see that. Well, so, I, I like Prototype more because it has blood and guts. And yeah, that's a good point. But I'm really interested. Go ahead. One thing I liked about uh, Infamous Two was that the protagonist wasn't, you know, oh, I didn't wish I had these powers. Oh yeah, the guy. Uh, you mean the trailer for Second Son? It was somebody who was actually proud to have powers. It wasn't, you know, blindly complaining and calling it a curse. Yeah. He realizes all the cool things he can do with power. He's like, this is actually pretty badass or something like yeah. that. I'm trying to see. Well, the downside is. Nope, I don't see a downside. <laughs> Alright, next they showed off Knack. Ah, it reminds me of Skylanders without the toys. It reminds me of Cameo. It, I said that. It really yeah, does it remind me of Cameo. I want to see more of it. Didn't play either one of those, and I don't think I'm going to play <laughs> Knack. It, it doesn't interesting. I mean, it doesn't interest me at all. Just the moment when they introduced it back in February and they said the yeah. enemies were orcs, I'm like, eh. <laughs> yeah, even back to the reveal, I wasn't too impressed. But I don't know. It ended up being a good game. Best for kids. If it's cheap, yeah. And we have The Witness. I don't remember They anything. said that it would be exclusive for a period of time yeah. on PS4. A lot of these are time exclusives. Yeah, PS4. from now on, these are time exclusives. They talked a bit about Diablo 3. Yeah, we'll talk with that. I wrote that in the notes. Okay, then we have Transistor. This guy looked interesting. Yeah, it's from the people who made Bastion. Yes. Yeah. I always wanted to play that in the game. It's fun. Mike just went crazy. Well, it's okay. <laughs> and then, speaking of going crazy, we have Don't Starve. <laughs> I want this game on consoles since I've seen it on the Steam. The Steam. And I'm so happy <laughs> it's on consoles, even though it was on PS4 first, but I'll get more into that in a second, but I'm so happy for this. I've honestly never heard of this game. Well, I don't start. Live under a rock. All I've right. been watching Sips. Y'all just cast Sips play it. Watch him. <laughs> it's amazing. It's like right. his daily ritual. He, I, was, I look on Xbox Live, he's always watching an episode of Seriously? it. Seriously? It's wow. amazing. I've never seen that. It's amazing. Happy Rube, but moving on. Okay. Yeah. Bitch. <laughs> well, we got something real. We got yeah, we have a lot of stuff to cover. Next we have Outcast. Outlast. Outlast. Outcast. I don't know. LCs. It's this thing is hard to read. I think Outlast. Outlast. I don't, Outlast. I, I don't Outcast. remember what it was. I, I, they they, they flash no like idea. six indie games in ten seconds. Yes, this is definitely an indie game. I remember that one. Just cuts in the middle of all of these. Let's talk about Diablo three. What do you think about that? You little I think, <laughs> what? I think it's uh, really cool that it's finally coming to consoles because I could never afford a PC that would be able to run it, and it looks like a really cool game. Okay. Um, personally, I think it'll be on Xbox One eventually. Yeah. I don't know how many changes will go with uh, you know, it being on Xbox One versus PS4. Yeah, they talked about PlayStation-exclusive items. What was it like a coin it, it was from Nathan, Uncharted? Nathan Drake's pendant yeah. and the armor 
from some Sony game. I don't know. It's eluding me, so keep continuing. I mean, I don't know how much oh, these items. It's the shoulder blade game. from Journey. That's it. Oh, that's, that's right. That awesome. really pretty okay. indie game. That's short but really good. Watch PewDiePie play it. Amazing. I don't understand that game. Okay, ramble. <laughs> that's okay. Next we have the awesome but confusing thing of Final Fantasy versus thirteen turning into Final Fantasy fifteen. What happened? <laughs> it, it, I was confused. Final Fantasy versus thirteen got launched a couple years ago. It failed mm -hmm. miserably. They took the servers offline and they rebranded it as fifteen. Okay. Nice. So its official name yeah. is So it, it came back on the PS4 and it's an MMO still. And did they say this was exclusive or not? No. 14. Okay. 14 is exclusive. Yeah. Either way, this game, it looks really cool. Like, I know you can move around kind of in 13, but this game looks really action-packed while keeping RPG elements. It looks like an Uncharted RPG almost. I, I, mean, I wouldn't pretty mind cool. it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually looking forward to playing that now. And then, oh my god, this is this is the bombshell of their E3. Well, is their gaming. Kingdom Hearts 3. I've been waiting for this since Kingdom Hearts 2. I bought, I was saving for PlayStation 3 for this game. Mm -hmm. Now it's coming out on PlayStation 4. They didn't say it's exclusive. They didn't say, I didn't even know about this damn thing until it showed Yeah, that came out of nowhere for it's me. So, we're going to show you a sneak peek. I was like, okay, maybe it's Kingdom Hearts. Disney, bam, Kingdom Hearts. I was like, what the boss? I mean, I thought it could even been like HD remake of Kingdom Hearts 2. That's what I thought. Because that's be, been oh, waiting for. Remake, whatever, sure. Yeah, or it could have been another trailer for 1.5, which fan yeah. already has. I'm just glad it's no longer yeah. a 3DS or Nintendo variant yeah. of it because those yeah. suck. But who it's knows? Me. It could be on Xbox One. It could be on Wii U. Yeah, they, they, they made a point to say that Final Fantasy XIV will be exclusive to PlayStation, mm -hmm. but they didn't say fifteen or <laughs> Kingdom Hearts 3 would be exclusive. They didn't say that at all. And if it was, I'm pretty sure they would make a point to say it just like they did with Final Fantasy XIV. My assumption is it will be since it's always been PlayStation exclusive and since back to Kingdom Hearts. But the last time we've had one like that is 2006. Yes. Who knows? The best one, the, con the yes. handheld one. Back True. There. All I'm saying is they didn't say exclusive, so. Good point. It, it looks great. It looks so far in development. The I alpha think. looks amazing. I can't wait to see the finished product. I don't know how they kept that. Hope you can secret. go back to Halloween Town. I don't know how they got the secret, because it looks pretty far along. Next, it showed off. I, think it's supposed to, I see AC3. Is it supposed to be Assassin's Creed? Assassin's Creed 3. Black yeah. Flag. Oh, so that's that's pretty pretty Black Flag, yeah. And it started off, we really love the atmosphere. It's like Pirates of the Caribbean. Pirates of the Caribbean, <laughs> yeah. It looked great. And then... <laughs> I expect to see Jack Sparrow oh coming God. out and saying, you know... We don't... heard the, the grinding noise. They had some the disc, technical... The disc yeah, I, thought, the... I thought the disc was about to get eat up live <laughs> on stage. And then it stops two seconds. And we're watching this on an IGN app on an Xbox 360. And we thought the streaming, something could have been wrong with the streaming. But they but pulled no. out to make sure that they know it's yeah, not the streaming. They it's pulled the game. out of the screen to let us know it was, it could have been the PS4, it could have been Ubisoft, whatever. But, but Either it, way, it started messing up. But more, two more games did it too. Yeah. More that's on a good the point. importance of that later. Yeah. And then he goes to, it's like he's about to tackle somebody. And I swear, he just glitches. I he thought falls he messed through up and was like, okay, that didn't happen. No, he falls through this guy. I thought he knocked him off like, the edge or something. <laughs> Glitch so bad. And I'm like, oh, okay, this, this is getting pretty bad. Let's well, keep going. One of, the biggest, happening. one of the biggest mishaps I've ever seen on an E3 stage oh, ever. Same here. And then it happens again and again and again. And then it's like someone said, pull the plug. <laughs> and then without even skipping a beat... They just ignore the problem and go straight to Watch Dogs. Yeah. <laughs> just, just ignore it. It's like the person that was playing AC4 is like, oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit. Someone behind the scenes is just like, pull it, we're going to the next game. Watch Dogs, I, every time I see footage of this game, I'll look forward to it more. That, that had some problems too. The guy was yeah. like fucking up. <laughs> well, I mean, he missed a shot, but I can't remember if... It stuttered once. Yeah, it stuttered once. But God, this game looks amazing. But... Again, it's not PS4 exclusive. It's going to be on Xbox One, PS4, PS3, 360. Wii U. <laughs> wow, I can't imagine that. Like, it'll be cool. There's actually a scene where they were using a tablet-type device yeah. to do something. That would be cool. 
Yeah, Elder Scrolls Online. I thought that said Funker Winker. I thought it said Funker Winker. <laughs> Elder Scrolls Online. I'm shocked. It's on console. I had no idea about it. I Obviously, the be... beard Zeno knew about it. <laughs> we <laughs> bought Skyrim yeah. in 2011, so apparently it wasn't a big surprise. I'm happy to yeah. see. I'm really no, 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 no. This, this is this is the legendary edition that oh. came out this week or last week. Oh, okay. I it thought has, that has was all the DLC in it. Yeah. It has an insert for it. Inside of here, I figured. Well, if they're if they're putting an insert inside Skyrim Legendary Edition, it's gonna have, you know, a console version at least. You know, honestly, uh, you know, it doesn't really surprise me because there was a DC Universe Online for the PS3, and uh, these consoles are pretty much gonna be gaming PCs. It is not a PlayStation 4 exclusive. Just saying. Yeah. Anything else about Elder Scrolls? I can think. Demo. <laughs> yeah. Elder Scrolls is awesome. Oh, God. Can I, can I introduce this one? Okay. I'm really excited for this. All right, go the, ahead. The last one on the page. Oh, well, well, yeah, you do it. You reveal it. Okay. <laughs> for you fans of post, post-apocalyptic post worlds, you, you know the de facto experience is the Road Warrior. Finally you making a Mad Max game, and it looks awesome. It's amazing. Yes. I want it. Seamus, SSOH, PKC, called on Twitter. Said something about shotgun. Probably shotgun <laughs> rain. Shotgun him. Damn it. That's what he said. Shotgun <laughs> It looks like it. he's got some survival elements in it, too. Yeah, it he like, he's like, I got one bullet. Fuck it. I'm just going to run you over, bitch. Well, speaking <laughs> of survival, something we missed. Walking Dead Season 1 is finally coming to Vita. Yeah. Though, it's cool, but... It's old. It's all right. It's on MacBook. It's on iOS, for God's sake. I'll get it's it about for the time. I'll get it for the free platinum. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a good idea. And there, apparently there's some DLC about it I haven't heard about. Yeah, it's it's going to bridge the gap between Season 1 and Season 2. Oh, yeah, that's the extra they were talking about. What was the PS Plus? Oh. Okay, well, one really dampering thing. He kind of snuck in there. I completely missed it. MasterGuard found it on Twitter. Apparently, Next Generation, or they could start for PS3 yeah. starting yeah. in November. Uh, you're going to need PlayStation Plus. Just like Xbox needs Xbox Live Gold to play games online. It's no different. It's really yeah, no different. it's no different. Maybe a little bit cheaper. And, and it's ten dollars cheaper a year. And now that Gold gives you free games, they're virtually even services. Actually, well, dis- PlayStation discount, first, they're going to give you. Well, they do have discounts. I mean, they could get discounts, but they also said you get one free game. Is it a month on PlayStation Plus? Yeah. And now Xbox Live Gold is saying two free games. Yeah. But aren't the two games PlayStation on- Plus? Aren't the two games on uh, Xbox Live older and PlayStation that, That's usually no, the way they true. are on PlayStation Plus, too. Okay. Yeah, but I don't know if Xbox Live Gold will have the good discounts. Really, GameStop? You already have bundles? For PlayStation 4? Yeah. Wow, Four? they act fast. We'll go to Destiny. Yeah. Next. This game looks great. I mean... <laughs> okay, the reason I am a Microsoft fanboy is because of Halo. Because of Bungie. <clears throat> This game looks a lot like yeah, Halo. A lot like Halo. Undeniably like Halo. Ex- it's Bungie. Who can blame them? Except for it's an MMO. And yeah. it's open world. Yeah. And I like of. how they showed off the different classes. Yes. They showed off how you can play it differently. I was pretty impressed. How long do you think it's been on that? It's been a good amount of time on that. About a good 10, 15 minutes. Yeah. But it was worth it. I was really impressed. Want to go next? <laughs> I'm not, say, I'm not saying it. I'm not saying it. I'll say it. I'm no, like it. I don't want to fucking say it. This is when Tabir Dezino walked out the room. I threw the fucking notepad at Evil Omega. <laughs> Here, let me announce it. No, I, I want to announce it. Okay. PlayStation 4, if you didn't know already, is going to be 399 US dollars at launch. This blew everyone away. <laughs> Some people good reasons, some people bad reasons. Uh, it surprised me. I don't know financially how that's going to affect Sony. Yeah, I'm a little bit skeptical about this because, you know, it was glitching out uh, quite a bit at E3. So, you know, maybe they were able to cut corners with hardware and manufacturing. Mm-hmm. And I think I'd rather get you know, a console for $100 more if it's going to hold up. Rather than get one that's $100 cheaper I mean, and doesn't come with any kind of motion voice command thing. That's a decent point, but again, stuff like this happens all the time. And they've got. The reason the five move months. is not included is because it's not required for the console mm-hmm. whatsoever. So that means games that require it, if you want to use that optional feature, get the mm-hmm. camera. If not, you don't have to. 
and the connect stuff and the voice commands it's cool but it's just one of those features after you use a couple times and you show it off to your friends I don't think you use that much I mean it's like I can Siri see... I don't use Siri that much anymore anyway yeah I mean yeah you could change channels and all that but what if it's 2 a.m. you're not gonna wake up everyone in your house so you can watch Price is Right <laughs> no <laughs> but yeah for, for only 400 bucks Xbox One's 500 bucks. No one saw. I don't think anyone saw this coming. Everyone, well, most people predicted. I think for PlayStation 4 to cost more because it's, it's got better technology. No, I stayed for the price. I left on the used games. Oh yeah, Talks yeah. Like you, because oh, because yeah. y'all y'all fist bumped and just gave me the god awful smirk. <laughs> the PlayStation I mean 4, that. you can troll play used sorry. games without extra yeah, cost. Troll face. You can trade games with friends without extra cost. Or require to be on your friends for certain days. And it doesn't, quote, require to check online um, periodically at all. You Basically, they whenever. kept it exactly how it is in this generation. Which, honestly, I didn't think they would do that. But to bring up something... To bring I'm glad up they point, did, though. To bring up a point that uh, the Bearded Zeno brought up uh, recently was... Uh, publishers, you know, they don't really get a lot of money from the resale of used games. Whereas with Microsoft and the Xbox One, they would have to charge at least a little bit for used games. Do you honestly think a few used games is going to bankrupt the company that made the game? They're no, going to sell they're... enough to keep... They're going to lose profit no matter what. So that really yeah, That's the reason we're not them. getting a Psychonaut sequel, so I'd say that's a bad thing. Just that saying. is a very good point. All I'm saying is... Yep. Just, just saying. Yep. All I'm saying is uh, Xbox One is going to look a little more appealing for publishers. Yep. That's, what, that's the way they set it up. That's a very good point. But... I think Sony kind of had this up their sleeve the whole time. The fucking Jack know. Trenton. I fucking hate that guy now. <laughs> God awful fucking smirk on his face. I think they knew ever since they revealed it, I think they were just, they had this. Just so they could just pull the rug on from Microsoft. And I think, what it percentage, really that way. what percentage do you think are going to say that Sony won E3? 90. A lot of people. Yeah, yeah quite mean, a few people. Honestly, I didn't watch the Microsoft press conference, but I was really impressed with a lot of the games. The only bad thing about the Microsoft press conference was the price. Honestly, I have yeah. to say it. That was their... That's yeah. what really hurt me. Man, everything else was good news. Very good news. Yeah. But yeah, you know, when something like this is, you know, you know the whole too good to be true thing? I'd keep my eye on the PlayStation 4. Maybe, you know, if we watch it long enough, we'll see why the it's $100 cheaper. I don't know. There's something up with that. It really I is. Know. Well, we'll see after they both launch. I mean, it's cool to buy a console at launch, but it's never the smartest thing to do. We're going to see how they both perform. Yeah, I'm an idiot. <laughs> no, I mean, chill, if, man, if the PS4 chill. pulls the Xbox 360 and kids are opening this up Christmas Day... And it doesn't work out of the box. It can backfire. Yeah, but if it breaks that week, it wasn't worth it. Yeah. There's no way they make for the stuff that's in that system. There is no way that it is really four hundred dollars. They are either losing a shit ton of money mm -hmm. or it is cheaply made. I don't know. That's that's a nice. I, I think they'll do just fine. I mean, they're charging you for PlayStation Plus. That's another good way they're making the money games, back. So they'll make the money back sooner. Already. Yeah, well, they definitely they, they took care of the consumers. Everybody. They give the consumers what they want. Exactly. That, if you want to sell something, you've got to go with the consumer. If you give them what they want, they're going to get it. I think we're done here. When you go around the room with a, a score for the conference, how about you? 9 out of 10. I'd say 9. I'd say an 8. Really? Yeah, an 8. <laughs> what about you? It's weird as <laughs> Games-wise, 6. Yeesh. Even with Kingdom Hearts 3? Yeah, I don't play Kingdom Hearts. No, that's true. Even with Infamous? And pissing me off wise, 10. <laughs> <laughs> well, you heard it here first. Uh, Jack Tritton trolled. It's weird to see him. Yeah, I just, him we forever. had just got back from GameStop for me pre ordering an Xbox One. One so, of the 10 that our GameStop had. Yeah. I pre ordered one too. Yeah. Yeah, but you, you're talking about. You know, because I can afford a PS4. The, 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 the Xbox yeah. One is. That's going to be the conversation a lot of people have. Exactly. What can you afford? Yeah. I mean, Even, they're having games that I really like. Kingdom Hearts 3, Don't Starve. 
Star Wars Girls mm-hmm. Online. That's Star Wars multiplayer. I they haven't officially announced that yet. I don't know. Oh, they well, see, say there's a lot of stuff they didn't officially announce. They didn't say I mean, that came March three. Like, there's only <sighs> set and stone exclusives. Not a whole lot. But the only exclusives that we know of are the ones that are already announced and the yep. the the thing. The what's it called? The 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 eighteen eighty four one. Oh yeah, the order. Order. Eighteen eighty six. This was a surprising day indeed. We saw. We watched three press conferences. This is Ubisoft's. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they pretty much caught the good games of Ubisoft's at Sony's. Like South Park. But yeah. Well, Never part. Someone falls. <laughs> we'll see how this changes gaming in general. Maybe a year from now, we'll look at this differently. I think today it's been a pretty good day for gaming in general. I mean, we know so much more than we did 24 hours ago. Like, now we know what's called an Xbox One, because only one person's going to end up getting one, me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, this has been another episode of The Hive, special E3 edition. Alright, we'll see y'all in a little while for something else. Leave your thoughts and suggestions in the comments below. Go ahead and tell me how I'm an idiot for pre-ordering the Xbox One. I know you're going to do it. Say how Sony win. I don't care. <laughs> Just speak your opinion. That's what it's there for. One final thing. Peggle 2! You cheered me up. Zeno's, <laughs> Zeno's out. What the heck is Pickle?